for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person, well we got justice and it's with the four of swords. Now justice actually deals with the idea of karma. And the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. And I say this because sometimes we're called to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. This can sometimes be difficult. But just know that you shouldn't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved in a court case, it's unlikely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now, it's with this Four of Swords. Four of Swords can signify there's a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw. For some time. Now this withdrawal. Is not likely to be permanent. It could. For example. It could mean. A, it could mean. Time in the hospital. Time in jail. Those are just two examples. It's a sign. Or a clear signifier. To give people their space. You could feel like you need some time. Some space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention, but don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you want to take them at their word because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So, basically, the recent past energy. Like I said, Justice and the Four of Swords. Recent past energy between you and your person. So it looks like your person, they, they might have put you through something difficult. Some type of struggle. And you, you're feeling that justice is going to be served. Yeah, you feel like it's coming right around the corner. It's going to... Come right around the corner and slap them in the face. You're you're just feeling it. You're you just know it's about to happen, and you're about to get some clarity. Some things are going to come to light, and you're going to get some truth. So yeah, your person your person put you through something difficult, and you're feeling like you need a break. You need to take some time to yourself for rest. Like this man is, he looks like he went to the top of the mountains and he took his four dogs with him and his four swords. He lit a candle in his shoe. And it's all about taking a break, rest after a struggle. But it's a withdrawal, but you do come back. But yeah. Something is making you feel like justice is going to be served. Maybe your person didn't treat you right. But you feel like they're going to get what they deserve. Something. I don't know what it is. But anyway, let's see if we can get some clarity by looking at the rest of the reading. So, we move on over to the present time. And we got the death card, and it's with the three of pentacles. So the death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will, and such things are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation, change, definitely a time of deep, deep transformation, could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or had gotten used to may no longer 
be available to you in quite the same way. Now the transition, it can be difficult for some people. Even though the change is nearly always needed. Now, the death card is with the Three of Pentacles, which is very positive. Especially when it comes to work, career questions, money. It's a good overall card. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. They notice the quality of work you do. Even if you don't get paid for it. This Three of Pentacles, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing. Because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. So, like I said, what we got coming up, the death card, clarified by this Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, what I'm getting is that for... A lot of you Scorpios, yeah, you could be losing interest in, in this person, whoever put you through this struggle, some type of struggle where you feel like you need some rest or you just want to go away and take a break. You f you're losing interest in this person. And you might come to, you probably come to some type of conclusion. Yeah, you realize that you're really not the same person that you were when you two first met. You're different. Or maybe you see that they're different. But I'm getting, I'm picking it for uh, most of you Scorpios. It's you, you've, you've changed and you're no longer the same person that you once were when you first when the two of you first got together you're losing interest in the connection you feel like it's coming to a conclude so it's it's about to be concluded it's about to be it could be ending yeah maybe you're about to end it you've come to some type of finality about everything and you're no longer interested. You're different. You're not who you were. When you guys first hooked up. Yeah, so the only way I see this turning around is if your person, they, if they were able to be like this Three of Pentacles. You see this man, the Three of Pentacles is the card below the word present. He's showing these two people that are at his feet. He's showing them what he does and they're at an, they're amazed. They're at an awe. Like, wow. Unless your person can show you a good reason to stick around or maybe offer you something something beneficial to you uh it looks like you could be ending this connection yeah not unless they could uh, offer you some great benefits put you on their life insurance policy or their 401k if they've got one offer you some type of great benefits because the three of pentacles is about really good benefits and when you hear the word pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Or unless they could offer some great teamwork or collaboration. Yeah. But I'm picking up, you don't see them doing that. And you feel like the connection is... It's time to conclude it, to bring it to a close. To it's time to finalize this situation or connection. You're no longer interested, like I said, unless they could show you what they can bring to the table. But yeah, with a death card here, I'm picking up you don't feel hopeful. 
that they can do that. So, you're no longer interested. Yeah. You might have been sticking with this person that you've been deeply unhappy in because you didn't want to let go of the familiar. Or for some of you, it was because you didn't like the thought of being alone. Yeah, that's what you get with the death card. So you're different. You're no longer who you were. You're, you're about to end this. Could be for a lot of you. Unless this person could bring something to the table. But I'm picking up that they, they're not. For most of you, they're not. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Five of Pentacles, and it's with the Magician. Now, the Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when life could feel less than secure. Less than secure. Now, the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and forces unseen. Unseen. You could feel alone. But just know that you have the capacity to change that. So you have to reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold. As though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need it will come. Now that's the five of pentacles and it's with the magician here. The magician, it signifies new beginnings. New beginnings, great expectations. This card, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and so many other areas of the world. If we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate. And a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then make sure you do something. Because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So your challenge, Scorpio, Five of Pentacles, clarified by this magician. So yeah, like I said, you've, you're ready to conclude this connection. You feel like they're going to get what they deserve. They put you through something that makes, that made you feel like you need to go up to the top of the mountains and, and be this four of swords, rest after some type of struggle they put you through. You need a break. The person puts you through something really difficult. They're going to get what they deserve. That's what you're feeling. So. It looks like your person. They see that you're. You're deciding to. End this. Connection with them. I don't, like I said, I don't, I'm picking up, they're not stepping up to the plate and showing you what they can bring to the table. For a lot of you, they're not doing this, but if they did, you might give it a second chance for some of you, not all of you. A lot of you are just ready to, to conclude it. To move on because you're no longer interested and your person feels this they know that's what you're doing you're moving on they know they're about to get what they deserve some type of slap in the face for dragging you through the mud so they feel left out by you left out in the cold yeah, it's not a, this five of pentacles is not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. Yeah. You could feel like the person that you have your eye on, they're not treating you the way that 
You think they should. So, with the Five of Pentacles, you usually have to stop fantasizing about the connection or the person entirely. So, yeah, they're not happy. Yeah, they see that you're moving on and you've come to some conclusion. You don't want to hear anything else unless they bring something great and fabulous to the table. So you're manifesting a new beginning, Scorpio. You got the wand in your hand. You're ready for a new beginning. You got a lot of great expectations for the future and the up and coming days. Yeah, you could be manifesting a new beginning with someone else or just a new life. So you got a lot of plans. A lot of new plans for a new beginning. So let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the Hierophant and it's with the Page of Cups. The Hierophant, with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for help or advice with some important matters, their intelligence, their empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you. Or this could be someone coming towards you. Or someone that you know. They're quick witted. Well educated. They're wise teachers marked by integrity. Quite frankly they're the real deal. They're the genuine article. A true blue. Highly admired individuals. They walk the walk. They talk the talk. And they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now this Hierophant is paired with the Page of Cups, which shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When you get the Page of Cups in a reading, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the, over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Now the first is imperative and the second it can be a disaster. So yeah, the outcome Scorpio, like I said, you're manifesting a new beginning. You're ready to move on. I'm, I'm picking up for a lot of you. You know someone already. That you feel would be really good for you. Yeah, they're like this hierophant. You, f you feel that they. This person could be more loyal. Or they could be the loyal type. You, f you feel or you know that this person, um, they're ethical, they could be more traditional, and you feel that they, they have morals, they have standards, and from what you know also is that they come across as being true. Yeah, because what you know about this person, they usually walk the walk and they talk the talk. Yeah, you haven't experienced any games with this person. So, you know someone like this already, who you, you're thinking about. Someone like this is already a part of your world. And if not, you're manifesting someone like this into your life. Someone who's true, loyal, honest, and sincere. And, yeah, it looks like with the Page of Cups... You realize it's, it's time to to have some fun. And uh, you realize you've been taking life way too serious. Dealing with this person who, who dragged you through the mud. And, and is making you feel like you need rest. You need a break from normal life. So... You realize it's time to have some fun. 
And like I said, a lot of you already know this person. who You, you could be dealing with them already. Someone who's more sincere and loyal and true. And so, yeah. Page of Cups. This person could be younger than you if you know them. And if you don't know them yet and you're manifesting them, they'll probably be younger than you because... When you hear the word page in the tarot, that means a student or youth or immaturity or someone younger than you. Just someone younger than you. So this person will be good for you. They'll, they'll remind you to enjoy life and have fun and not be so serious. So Scorpio, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. So Scorpio, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be your person or your person could be you. And keep in mind if you're not in a love interest or if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, um, your person could actually be a friend or a family member or it could be a situation. So. Take the readings, take these readings for however they resonate. Yeah, because these, these are, are, um, they're general readings. They're general readings. They are not personal readings. So take it for however it resonates. So Scorpio, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that you come back for the next reading. I hope that you have a great day and take care.